I was ready to leave, but my sister canceled. <sighs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lillian. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to get this fall inspired, all matte brown eyeshadow look, and of course the whole face. Yeah, I'm kind of, I always use shimmers in my eyeshadow looks. The other day I saw a post by Sigan Miskina, she's also a YouTuber, and she had this really gorgeous all matte eyeshadow look, and I was like, ooh, I need to try that. So I did and it turned out like gorgeous. So I was like, I need to do this more often. And that's why I filmed this video to show you guys something different than what I usually do, a soft matte eyeshadow look with nudes and browns. I hope you guys like this video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell because I will be uploading every Sunday. So this video will kind of be a makeup tutorial but also kind of a get ready with me. I had one hour to film this video and I really need to go right now. But I hope you guys like this video and let's just head straight into it. So to start off with my eyebrows, you guys know I don't do much to my brows. So for my eyebrows, I'm going to use the NYX Micro Brow Pencil, and this is one of the goodies that I bought on Black Friday. I got mine in the shade Espresso, by the way. I just had to zoom in a little. <laughs> so as you can see, I just fill it in a little, but that's about it. Then I'm going to sculpt my brows with the LA Girl Warm Honey Concealer. And above my eyebrows, I like to use the Boeing Cakeless Concealer by Benefit, just because this is a little closer to my skin tone. Then I'm going to set my brows with the 24 Hour Brow Setter by Benefit. This is just like a clear brow gel. Oh my god, I have these pigeons that keep coming on my balcony and it's so annoying and they're so nasty. This is another thing I bought on Black Friday. It's the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer and I also got the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. To be honest, Jackie Aina convinced me to buy them. She always talks about how amazing they are, so let's try it out. And you guys know me, I don't really use primers, so... ooh. I don't know if I'm using too much. Oh, this feels really hydrating. It almost feels like a moisturizer. So this is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. It's an oil-free foundation, undetectable, medium to full coverage foundation. And I got it in the shade Chestnut. Now let's hope that this is my shade. I did get a shade match, but you know, it always looks different in the stores and they didn't have any testers, so I risked it, you know? Uh, yeah, so this is the shade Chestnut. I believe this one is neutral. When I look at my Fenty foundation shade, I'm also neutral undertone, so it should be fine. So another Jackie Aina favorite is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation brush. So this is also something that I got. It was 25% off. So I was like, why not try it? Uh, so yeah, this video is full of Jackie favorites. <laughs> I mean, it looks like a good match, but I don't know. The foundation brush, I already used it. It's really good though. You know, I really need to come up with a solution because I'm using a mirror right now, but I keep putting it like up in front of my face and then you guys can't see what I'm doing. So I'm sorry for that. The shade is really good, but the undertone is really warm, even though it says it's a neutral undertone. But, um, when I put on my concealer and everything, I think it will be pretty good. Yeah, I kind of like it. I like the finish as well. It really looks like your skin, but better. It's not matte, it's not too dewy. And definitely one pump is enough. So this one, I like it so far. I'm going to use my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Warm Honey. And then just for a little more highlighting, I'm using my Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C10.5. And I'm just going to add a dot to each side. Then I'm going to grab another one of my Black Friday purchases. This is the Original Beauty Blender Sponge. 
But I really like this sponge, by the way. I usually just use the Real Techniques ones, and this one was on sale for Black Friday because I think it's a little ridiculous to pay nearly 20 euros for one beauty blender. While my under eyes are setting, I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Matte Stick in the shade Truffle for my contour. I'm going to blend out my contour with my Real Techniques foundation brush. Those couple months in London were not good for me, so I have to hide this du double chin. <laughs> then I'm going to blend out the concealer under my eyes. I really like how this foundation looks. It really looks so good on my skin, if I do say so myself. I'm going to set my face with the Sasha Buttercup Banana Powder. As you guys know, I look a little crazy, but I don't really like to bake, so I just wipe it off immediately. Oh, I'm really loving my base right now. It looks gorgeous. So just in case I catch some fallout, I put some setting powder under my eyes. So I'm gonna go in with the Masquerade Mini Palette by Juvia's Place, and I'm gonna use the shade Burkina for my crease. I just took a more dense brush, just to pack it on a little more. So I packed this into my crease and all over my eyelid. And then I'm going to grab Zulu and I'm going to use that to blend out the harsh edges. Then I'm going to grab Fulani just to darken up the crease a little. Then I'm going to go back in with Zula to blend everything out. Now that the eyeshadow is done, I'm going to use the Roller Liner by Benefit to make a winged liner. My wings always turn out different. I don't really like this one, but it is what it is. Next, I'm going to use the Wonder Pencil by NYX to put in my waterline. I have a new favorite pair of lashes. This is by Kiss, the Lash Couture Faux Mink Collection in the style gala so before i put on my lashes i'm going to put on mascara i'm going to use the dare real mascara by benefit almost forgot to wipe off the setting powder when i tell you guys how many times i've already used this pair of lashes you're gonna be shocked like this is maybe my fifth time wearing them so for the people that use these lashes like ardell lashes and kiss lashes once or twice and throw them away that's not it sis we make use out of them do you guys realize it's december like this year has gone by so so fast how was 2019 to you guys let me know in the comments my 2019 was actually i would say good but also bad <laughs> i've been through some stuff but then again i've also learned so much and i feel like I'm leaving 2019 as a whole different person and I've changed so much and I'm grateful. I'm feeling grateful. That's what I'm feeling. And I'm so ready for 2020. That's gonna be my year. I'm telling you guys, I'm going to be consistent with my YouTube uploading. I'm going to make sure I reach all my goals. I have some goals written down. I might do a separate video on me talking about my goals for 2020 and maybe helping you guys set your goals. But yeah. I'm so ready for 2020 and I'm ready to leave 2019 behind. <laughs> How was your 2019 and what are some of your goals for 2020? Let me know in the comments. I'm actually really excited for this dinner because me and my sister are going to this place called Who This Freddy's and it's here in Rotterdam and they have like chicken and waffles, these crazy chicken burgers and all of that stuff. It's very American soul food inspired I think. Um, but I'm so excited and they have fried Oreos yesterday I went to this air train restaurant here with my mom and I love Kutfu. Do you guys like Kutfu? Let me know in the comments because if you don't like Kutfu, you have not like you your taste buds are I feel sorry for your taste buds if you don't like Kutfu. See these lashes are just gorgeous like I love them while the lash grew is drying um, Is there anything you guys want to see from me like? I feel like I'm just doing whatever I like <laughs> but if there's any specific videos that you guys want to see please let me know in the comments um, in my last video you guys showed a lot of love and I'm so thankful by the way do you guys have that as well when your bottom lashes stick to your top lashes it's so annoying 
It's like you want to open your eyes, but you can't. <laughs> now that the eyes are done, we're going to move on to the face again. For my bronzer, I use a Kiko eyeshadow. This is in the shade 108. This is the high pigment wet and dry eyeshadow. So because it's an eyeshadow, it's very pigmented. So you really have to be careful when using this product. But I feel like it's a really nice shade because it's like the perfect brown but also very warm. For blush, I'm going to use my MAC Pinch Me blush. And then I just like to buff my face with a little bit like the, literally just the leftover loose powder on the brush. That just makes everything come together really nice. Now I'm just going to spray my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter. And then for highlighter, I'm going to use the MAC highlighter in the shade Oh Darling. I can't show you guys because it's all broken. <laughs> then I'm going to add a smaller brush and I'm going to add some to my inner corners and to my brow bone as well. Now I'm going to set everything with the Morphe setting spray. And I like just pressing it in with a beauty blender. For my lips, I'm going to line my lips with my favorite brown lip liner. This is the one by Kiko in the shade 321. And then I'm going to use the liquid lipstick by NYX, the lingerie line, in the shade Seduction. And just to the center of my lips, I'm going to add a little bit of NYX lingerie in the shade Dusk to Dawn. So this is my fall inspired soft matte brown eyeshadow look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Like I said, when we reach 5,000 subscribers, I will do a giveaway, so stay tuned for that. Also, make sure to click on the notification bell to stay updated on when I upload. And, as I said before, I'm going to start uploading every single week and I'm announcing it proudly just so I can hold myself accountable and you guys can hold me accountable. But yeah, I really enjoyed filming this video for you guys. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next Sunday. Bye.